Harris. And I'm Allie Davis. This, this is our documentary on animal adaptations and how they help animals function in the natural world. To start off, camouflage is a very important adaptation that some animals use or have. Different forms of an animal's coloration help disguise it. Examples of this include background matching, also known as cryptic coloration. This helps animals hide from predators. Camouflage helps predators capture their prey without their prey seeing them. An example would be some birds bland colored feathers help it blend in with its natural habitat. The camouflage color of an animal is determined by its surroundings. This adaptation helps animals function in the natural world because without some animals' camouflage, they couldn't attack their prey for food without being seen and they wouldn't have a way to hide from their predators. The next animal adaptation is the forked tongue. This adaptation gathers chemical information about the animal's surroundings. When the animal's tongue is flicked out of the mouth, chemical particles in the air adhere to its moist surface. The tongue is then drawn in and pressed against the sensory structure. When the tongue is out, it's in search of chemical information. This helps them function in the natural world because the animal becomes aware of its surroundings. Without the forked tongue, the animal wouldn't be able to sense its prey. Another way animals adapt to their surrounding is my migration. Animals migrate according to their life cycle. Animals like eels and salmon make a year-round trip once in their lifetime. Then they return home to the waters they were born, lay their eggs, and then usually die. Many animals, like bats, migrate in the winter to warmer southern places. Migratory animals have the instinct to fly and or travel south. This helps these animals function because some of these animals require warm weather year-round to live. In addition to migrating, living in groups is another way animals can adapt. Large herbivorous mammals such as gazelles, wildebeests, and elephants live together in their own herds. This behavior helps provide protection against predators. Examples include baboons living in troops, and they cooperate in getting food and post sentries to watch for danger. This helps them function in the natural world because if these animals stay together, it would be harder for predators to get them. Some animals, like fish, live underwater and have to adapt to their surroundings by using gills. Gills are the respiratory organs of aquatic animals. They help the fish breathe oxygen dissolved in the water. Most animals that live in water require gills to survive. Gills help fish function in the natural world because it is their way of breathing in oxygen. Without gills, many fish would die. Another way animals can adapt are both feet. This adaptation helps the animal paddle or steer underwater. This adaptation helps some birds take off as they run on water and steer and drink once they are in the air. This adaptation also belongs to a popular animal known as the platypus. This helps the animal function in the natural world because the webbed feet help the animal have good agility and speed in the water and air. Feathers are another way animals like birds adapt to their surroundings. Feathers provide birds with protection from rain, cold, and heat. They help keep the skin cool by keeping hot air out. The covering of feathers is called the bird's plumage. The feathers also help the wings remain stiff, which helps the bird sail and or fly. The main shaft of the feather helps keep it stiff and solid. A hollow part at the base fits into the bird's skin. Feathers help the bird function in the natural world because the bird needs the feathers to fly from one place to another. Without the feathers, the birds couldn't fly from one place to another to capture their food and find shelter. The last and final animal adaptation is fins. This adaptation belongs to many marine animals such as fish, dolphins, and seahorses. There are several fins on different places on the animal's body that have different jobs. Fins are used for balancing, steering, and braking. This adaptation helps animals in the natural world because the animal needs to have something to keep it up straight and steer and stop. Wouldn't it be weird if you were to see a fish swim sideways? This has been our documentary on animal adaptations and how they help animals function in the natural world.